and welcome to the Clever Fox YouTube channel. My name is Elise and today we are planning in my Clever Fox Weekly Planner Pro second edition for the week of Christmas. I'm really excited to plan this week because I'm going to be making some changes from my typical planning in order to account for the fact that it is going to be a busy couple of weeks with Christmas coming and New Year's after that. So I'm going to show you how I still use my planner but make some changes in order to account for the busy season ahead. So make sure you watch the whole video so you don't miss any of the tips and tricks that I'm sharing with you today and that you are subscribed to our channel with that notification bell turned on so you get notified each time we post a new video. Merry Christmas and let's get to planning. Okay, so now we are ready to plan. I love this planner because it's undated. So whether you miss a week or you are starting mid-month, mid-year, it doesn't really matter. So we are going to date this first, December. Who else is shocked that we are at the end of the year? For 19th through 25th, 2022. And then we'll go through the left side and date these. Okay, now I have some fun stickers here. I also have some fun pens and markers. So I think that I first want to go through some of these Clever Fox stickers and we will pick out ones to include. So I know that I have an appointment on Wednesday. So I'm gonna put this over here so that it doesn't really interfere with the left side of the day and it won't impact like my productivity. But I love starting Monday with a little I can do this sticker and maybe we will add in a cup of coffee as well. Who doesn't need an extra cup of coffee on a Monday? Then Mondays for me are payday. So I'm going to go ahead and put this sticker right over here for payday. Then let's continue going through. Let's see, big dreamers achieve big goals. I like that over here. These are just fun ways to add a little bit of inspiration, motivation, and sometimes some sass <laughs> to your plans as well. So we're going to bring this here, this one over here for Saturday. And then let's grab some Bill's stickers. And we have a green. And then let's do a red as well because I'm going to put Bills over here and over here. Okay, now this week's main goal. So I'm gonna start this side to kind of fill out the list and then we will move back into putting each of the plans into our days. So this week's main goal, and I'm going to take a nice fun colored red pen here. Um, finish, holiday, big exclamation points. <laughs> And the reward, if achieved, is relaxation. Who can't wait to relax after the holiday craze? Okay, that is the reward, if achieved. Now we are going to take a red marker and we'll just use this to kind of make some bullets here. And a lot of this is going to be holiday prep. So wrap gifts, check gift list, just making sure that all of the gifts that I planned were purchased, all of the people that I planned for were purchased. Um, finish mailing gifts for those who do not live locally, grocery shopping, and confirm plans. Okay, so now my priorities for the week are set up and I feel like this is going to be a crazy week personally and professionally because my office is going to be closed the following week, so the 26th through the 1st. So doesn't mean that this week isn't going to be filled with pre-closing prep. So I anticipate a busy one. And when things are really busy, I adjust my plans a little bit and I'll explain that in a moment. So in terms of work to do lists, um, we're going to write shut down notice and I need to confirm promotional schedules and social calendars. And then I like to leave some of these for whatever comes up throughout the week in terms of priorities. Then personal to do list, of course, is holiday prep. 
And then I know off the top of my head, there are still two gifts that I need to buy for. So gift for Melanie, gift for Carly. All right, brainstorm January. I know that we're not quite there yet, but it's coming. And I think that we can get lost in the plans of the holidays and forget that a new month and new year is coming. So then I'm going to also write plan for next week. With being off work of my full-time job, I wanna make sure that I am intentional about that time, that it is going to be a productive week, but also a restful week and enjoyable week socially. So we're gonna color in some of these bubbles for habit tracking. Now, part of how I'm going to make this week a little bit easier on myself is going to be tracking less habits than usual because I think it's really important when there's so much going on, more so than usual, that sometimes we have to adjust our plans. You know, part of planning is planning for what's happening and when it's a crazy week because of the holidays or, you know, things are coming up or maybe you have a vacation ahead. The regular daily plans are going to need to be adjusted a little bit. You know, I love to put reading in my planner to be able to track reading 30 minutes or an hour a day, depending on the book, sometimes more. And it's not always possible and I have to be able to let go of that. But there are some things for my own mental health and sanity that I definitely do need to track. So cleaning, uh, we're gonna write 80 ounces of H2O. And then I'm going to write, this is a new one for me, stand three hours. So I have a standing, a sit and standing desk and I'm trying to utilize it properly. And part of that means setting alarms throughout the day to make sure I'm not going to stand for three hours straight, but maybe stand for a half hour over a period of six hours so that I can get that exercise, not exercise, but just motion happening. I would love to exercise. So health and fitness, part of that is going to be standing, um, but I would like to take walks three days and then family and friends confirm holiday plans. Now I don't personally celebrate Christmas, I'm Jewish. And so um, it's fun this time of year because I get to kind of celebrate other people's holidays. I get to celebrate Christmas with friends. I do have some family members who celebrate Christmas because of the people they married. So it's really fun because I get to play around and just find other people's traditions. So that's why I keep writing confirm plans because it's not like my family knows every single Christmas we are going to be here on this day. That is usually the plan. Um, because we celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas together at my brother's house, but they will be traveling. So um, my plans are kind of open, which is nice. So romance and relationships date night. If you've been watching my videos throughout the last year that we've been sharing, I always talk about trying to find a relationship and things like that. And while the relationship isn't quite there, there's someone that I've been spending time with. And so with a busy schedule, it's also important to make sure that that's happening and I'm like scheduling time for a date. Fun and recreation. Uh, this is a silly one for me, but I'm going to write, watch Christmas Vacation, which is my favorite movie of all time. It's not just my favorite Christmas movie. It's my favorite movie, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, personal development. I would love to read two books this week. I don't know if it's possible, but we're gonna try. If I don't put it in the planner, it won't happen. If I do put it in the planner, there's a chance of it happening. So, um, and then we're going to write PM meditation, just to try to help sleep a little bit. Okay, now I am excited about um, girls night. I love the way this planner is set up because it actually gives you a second to think about how to plan these areas in your life. So things to be excited about. Uh, we have girls night, I'm just gonna write Christmas, and then time off. It's not going to happen this week, but it's coming soon, and I am <laughs> excited. As a creator, um, I don't ever have full time off because while I may be off of one job, I will still be working my job, but my personal one, but um, it's nice to have it be a little bit easier. Okay, we are going to over here, Let's see, let's see if there's stickers. 
to include or we just want to kind of have fun with some pens over here. Um, I think that I might want to use this section for memories. Oops, we're going to cover that error up. Okay, so I'm just going to use correction tape, memories, this. And this is a great use for this space. If you're not quite sure how to use it, leave it for memories because it's the little things sometimes that happen. It's the things that someone says. It's the card you got in the mail. It's a validation at work, things like that, that you want to remember. So I love this section for that. Okay, now let's get through up here. So we have payday on Monday. So um, I'm gonna write December bills just for the bills that are due this week. And then priorities are going to be, if I'm moving over here, first up, I really am going to need to check the gift list as we are at the end of the week. And then likely post office. I'm gonna switch the pen that I'm using here. That one's a little bit bold. These are both Sharpie S gel, which are my favorite pens. This is 0.7. This one I'm going to use is 0.5. And then gift list, post office, and we're gonna write wrap gifts. Okay, now for Monday. You could do this in a bullet section. You can write big. There are so many different ways to play around here. Let's see if we can add in one of these habit tracking sections. So the way that I'm going to do this, because this is the first week I'm going to focus on standing. We're gonna write this, stand. And because my goal is 30 minute intervals, but for a total of three hours, I'm just gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six bullets here. And then I'm going to go through and do that throughout the Monday through Friday sections here to give me that element in the planner that's going to remind me to do it because I'm checking in with my planner. And when it's in your planner, again, more likely to do it. So we'll go through. So now I'm going to put in the rest of the things that I know are happening. So uh, I have an appointment on Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. with my neurologist. And then we're gonna write Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. And I have another bill over here. So let me write Kindle Unlimited. That's one of my tricks to reading a lot because I use a Kindle and it's easy just to get a new book when I finish one. So. All right, now over here um, for Monday, let's use some green bullets because we used the red ones over here and I'll continue with these. So because I have an appointment on Tuesday, I wanna confirm that appointment on um, Wednesday. I wanna confirm that appointment on Tuesday. And then I know after the neurologist, I'm going to want to pick up a prescription. Now, when I'm looking back here, so we did gift list, post office and wrap gifts, great. Now, maybe Thursday would be a good day for grocery shopping, just so it's not too crazy before the holidays. So we're going to put grocery list here and over here as a to do to check off. Um, go grocery with an exclamation point because it's important. And then I think probably on Wednesday, I want to confirm weekend plans. All right. Now, Monday, we're going to prep for week off, kind of map out the week work-wise to prepare for the company shutting down. Okay, now let's see. Um, I think on Sunday, Merry Christmas, because I don't know that I necessarily need to put down my plans over here, whatever they may be, because they're still kind of up in the air. But what I could do is take one of these box stickers because I don't know that I'm going to need the goals and priorities for there. So that's what I could put over here. Now I do know that, let's grab another, another box. I do know that I have girls night here, just kind of a time with friends before all the family stuff happens on Friday, girls night. And what I'm going to wanna make sure I do on Friday is go to bank and get gas and holiday cards for the girls that I'm spending time with. Okay, now I think that this is where we're going to leave it because when I'm looking at this, I have my main goal in terms of habit tracking, 
over here so that I can check it off when it's finished each day. But as the day is going on, I can mark things down. I've also mapped out the main things that need to be taken care of, but I've left room for more to happen, which is why not every day is filled in fully because I've said this before, but when you plan out every single moment of the week, you're not leaving any room for things that might come up. And in a season as busy as this, sometimes you really need to make sure to leave that room because if something comes up and you look at your planner and every inch of it is full, there's no space to write it down. So I like to leave a little bit, but this is how I kind of pre-plan an upcoming week and especially a busy one. So we hope that you enjoyed this video. Of course, you can shop this planner and these stickers over at cleverfoxplanner.com. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas or happy holidays to whatever you celebrate and a happy season for all. Please do give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to our channel with that notification bell turned on so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again for hanging out with me today and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm.